Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We've got a question in here from Subham on the email. I hope I'm saying your name right there. Uh, Hi, I've been watching your videos for quite some time and they are really helpful. Thanks. I bought a D5300 with an 18 to 140 and the result is good. Some of my friends have Canon FX bodies like the 70D and results are much better. Should I upgrade to FX bodies or Nikon D7200 will get the job done? I want it for a wedding shoot. Is full frame sensor uh, is a full frame sensor much more better than crop bodies? Sorry if I messed up the question, as I'm in dilemma myself. Well, thanks for your question. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to clarify, uh, you mentioned a Canon FX body. Number one, FX uh, um, is full frame in the Nikon terminology. So I'm assuming you're talking about Canon full frame bodies. They don't actually refer to them as FX. That is a Nikon thing, FX and D- DX. However, we've come to associate that as meaning full frame and crop. Uh, the 70D, however, is not a full frame Canon body. The 70D is an APS-C body with a 1.6 crop, same as the 80D or the 70 d or any of the other Rebels, and also the uh, 7D series is all crop sensor bodies. So you may be meaning the 6D perhaps, or one of the 5D, the Mark III, the Mark IV, um, and then obviously we have the 1DX at the top. But the 70D is not a full-frame um, camera. Just wanted to clarify that with you. Uh, should you upgrade to FX bodies? Well, for wedding shooting, they, they are very nice. You have um, better... Um, performance from the sensor, better uh, high ISO, low light ability, which is what a lot of people really like. Uh, just a cleaner, more rich image file overall. That said, the 7200, very capable wedding camera. You could easily shoot with a pair of 7200s. I would, for instance, take a 7200 with a 17 to 50 F28 OS Sigma, so a constant aperture F28 zoom, and pair that with, say, the Nikon 50mm F18G, or, for instance, the 50mm F14D that I have. Um, either of which will work great on the 7200, and that pair will be very nice together. Uh, And I wouldn't have any problems shooting weddings with that either. I would want to incorporate the very nice Nikon flash system, so I'd probably be using a pair of SB700s on those. Um, That's what I would do if I wanted to shoot 7200s. That said, we recently did a video, and I was explaining that if I was to get into wedding photography again today, get back into it, and I was shooting, wanted to shoot full frame, I would get a Nikon D610, because I think it's a very good camera. It's probably the best bang for the buck as far as value for how low you can get those bodies for nowadays, under $1,000. Pair that with my favorite, one of my favorite lenses, the 24-120 f4 VR. Throw that in with a 85 f1.8G, and that's a very competent wedding kit. Uh, It's more expensive than the DX, but um, only you can really decide uh, what is going to work for you. I shot many, many weddings and a lot of professionals have because for years we didn't have a lot of options, if any, uh, in digital in the early days with full frame bodies. And they slowly came uh, into the market and they slowly became more uh, cost effective. And so we started using them. But lots and lots of weddings have been shot with crop sensor bodies like the D7200 or even the 70D or the 80D. And you can get great results. There's no need for full frame. The advantage is that you're going to get a little cleaner high ISO, a little bit richer file, maybe a little bit easier to manipulate and post. But that said, I could very comfortably shoot with D7200s. So you just have to decide, is that cleaner high ISO what you want to spend the extra money on? Is that important to you? Also, one of the things that people do tend to like is your full frame bodies. You're using lenses natively on them. In other words, if you're going to use a 24 to 120 or a 24 to 70, that lens is a true 24 to 70 or 24 to 120 on a full frame body. You put it on a crop sensor body, and obviously you have to apply the crop to it to, to um, understand what field of view you're shooting with. So that's something that a lot of people tend to like with the full frame bodies as well. What do you guys think? Which way would you go? Would you go with uh, keep his 7200? Um, or or get a 7200. I wouldn't probably myself shoot the 5300 you're talking about um, with the 18 to 140. A little too slow lens for me for weddings. Even though I like the range, the lens itself is a little slow. I'm not saying you can't do it. It's just my own personal opinion. Um, the 7200 I would gladly do it with with as I said that Sigma 17 to 50 f 28 OS paired with a uh, Nikon 50 mil f 18 G or in my case I already own the f 14 D so I would probably use that. Um, but would you guys go with that? Or would you go with a full frame body like the D610 or something in the Canon lineup? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help out Subham. What would you use if you were in his situation? What would you go for? Let us know what you would do and why. 
so he can help understand what your reasoning is and flesh this out for himself, make his decision. And um, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.